Hey, I'm Molly. I'm a second year PhD student at Harvard University and I'm a plant biologist. So I want you to think of the petals of your favorite flower. So maybe you're thinking of a lily or a tulip or a rose and these petals all have different shapes and sizes but there's one thing in common. They're all relatively flat and two-dimensional. But I study columbine flowers which have three-dimensional petals. And so I want to understand what genes are responsible for the development of these crazy petals. They form these elongated pockets, we call them nectar spurs, because they're filled with nectar and pollinators can come have a snack. So I want to know what genes are in common between 3D petals and 2D petals, which ones are just a little bit different, and which ones are totally novel in three-dimensional petals. And so this will help us understand how flowers evolve morphological novelty. So how are they evolving crazy new shapes and exploring different ways to build their bodies?